Hi friends, welcome back. So Elon Musk may end up be getting his money. <laughs> That's the subject of today's video. Um, he tweeted out a few hours ago, it says, uh, it's from Elon Musk, uh, both Tesla shareholder resolutions are currently passing by wide margins. And uh, he says, heart, heart, thank you for your support, heart, heart. And uh, this is the, um, on his pay package, a compensation thing. Uh, the orange line, again, is what Elon's tweeting out. This is guaranteed win. He's saying the uh, four votes are above the guaranteed win. And then you got the uh, move to Texas uh, to, of Tesla. And again, the orange is a guaranteed win. You got the blue votes then above the guaranteed win. So uh, the key resolutions, I guess, are, are passing. And um, I'll just assume that all the ones are going to pass if, if you know these two are. Um, again, this is coming from Elon. So you know how Elon can be with the facts. <laughs> we'll wait till it comes out official. But let's, let's just assume that he's not just making some random stuff up here. Because it would be kind of odd if, if he were to make a round stuff in this situation and that he's indeed uh, going to get paid at Tesla. Uh, you can see here uh, for a headline from CNBC, Tesla uh, pops 7% in the pre-market after Elon Musk says he is set for victory in 56 billion pay vote. Um, this has been a really fascinating story to follow. And in fact, um, I, I was talking to my wife about this before making this video, just kind of curious what her general uh, understanding of the situation was. And this is what she said. She's like, uh, Elon wants a whole bunch of money after he fired a whole bunch of people. <laughs> and that's, I think that might be a general person's understanding of it. And then on the other side, um, the Tesla fanboys and fangirls will say, well, Elon made, you know, a, a deal in 2018. And then they, the evil courts want to take away Elon's deal and the deal is a deal. And I think that's on that side, I think that's a general understanding of it. Um, and then unfortunately, there's like a lot of the sort of misconceptions and misinformation on all fronts of this thing. Um, I wanted to sh share, you know, some thoughts, what I think are the key points and, uh, you know, want to get your thoughts as well. So basically it boils down to, there's someone who sued and said, Hey, this whole Elon thing is, is, you know, ridiculously, uh, expensive, right? His, his whole pay package thing. And there was a shareholder that, that sued on the thing. Um, the court's ruled the saying, Hey, the board of directors is not independent, uh, from Elon Musk. Elon Musk essentially write, uh, runs the show, writes his own contracts. Um, and everyone is benefiting on, on said thing and the board isn't necessarily acting on the best interest of the shareholders. And then the people who say, oh, a deal's a deal, that kind of stuff we voted on before. Um, the thing is though, is that the court's like, well, the board's a bit misleading there. They're holding back information and not necessarily telling you everything. Uh, moreover, when people say, well, he reached all of his goals, et cetera. Um, I guess one of the things was that uh, on the inside, they kind of knew that they were heading in that direction. And one of the things that's kind of uh, interesting about uh, the whole you know elon reaching the goal stuff is the goals are all about pumping up the price of the stock which is the market cap of the company and also to reaching certain revenue goals etc and so i was thinking about this and i don't know why no one's brought it up but i was i'm just talking with you i was thinking about where you know part of what tesla could be doing is, is could be and i'm saying could be um you know fudging their numbers a bit this was brought up before when they were taking tons and tons of, of deposits on the um the model s and that kind of stuff uh, and not actually delivering any vehicles and is there any fuzzy accounting with that? Who, who knows? So um, I, for, for now, until anything is you know proven in that way, we'll, we'll, we'll just say, you know, take everyone uh, at their word. Um, but I'll say, but um, I, I think the big one though is when the court's like, hey, the, um, the board is not independent from Elon and uh, they may be misleading. Um, the thing is guys, with the way that Tesla behaves and, and something that, that we've seen in the last, I don't know, it's been a month or so where they're spending all this time on marketing, you know, hey, you got to pay Elon, that kind of stuff. I, I found that whole thing to be really, really strange. Uh, instead of like spending all of your resources and time in developing, you know, new products, uh, say, you know, the inexpensive car, et cetera, and advertising for that or developing new Model Y or new Model 3 or, or whatever, right? And spending all your time on that. They're like spending all their energy trying to get Elon money to, to you know, Elon his money. <laughs> I, I thought that the whole thing was, was weird and, and sort of, showed to me like literally showed to me in front of my uh you know in all in public view that the board is more interested in, in just keeping a relationship with elon than necessarily uh, providing you value and if, if it's been feels like recently that you know tesla the product that they are basically marketing and selling is, is essentially the stock like the whole thing is about pumping up the stock um which really reminds me of enron situation uh, if you guys have followed the Enron stuff or you're older, you would know about things. I mean, Enron, it was, it was all the same thing. Like everyone was like really happy because we're all making money from Enron stock going up and they would push, they would post the price of the stock in the elevator. And, and it's the kind of same situation um, with Tesla. And if you understand the whole historical sort of, how can I say, context of this is uh, Tesla and Bitcoin were both started uh, 
uh, basically at the bottom of, of the of the crash, talking about the financial crisis, and you know went through this era of low interest rates, and also then went through the era of the COVID stuff, where everyone's sitting at home, uh, you know, riding the Robin Hoods and just pumping up all these said assets, uh, and then you had Ark Invest also pumping up said crazy things. And um, I want to bring up the Ark Invest thing. I, I made a separate video on this, guys, um, about you know just just you can follow, follow my, find my last video. I go through the details of it, but basically Kathy Wood and the team are like, hey, you know, Tesla stock's going to be. 2600 per share oh my god it's gonna be so great and like 2029 um, is what they're saying and the, the stock currently is like you know at 189 dollars and 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 why you know why is it crazy and why is it so ridiculous um it's because they're, they're basing this whole thing on the robo taxi stuff and so you know kind of what's happening with the vote right now with say the elon and what's going on with the stock i honestly i, I just feel like our whole market at the moment or at least you know this segment of the market is like all about Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and just marketing hype. And, um, you know, is it a Ponzi or a pyramid, that kind of stuff? I mean, it's basically based on, uh, I just convince people to buy said equity, said stock, said thing. I just keep attracting new money into it and therefore it goes up. Meaning that it's there's nothing to do with like how much a company even makes anymore or fundamentals. It's just how, how many people can you convince to buy the stock? Yes, <laughs> that's kind of what I what I feel like the, the world that we're in. Um, and, and let me give you just this very simple example, guys. Um, and, and I hope you understand it. And for those of you, you know, this is just simple math um, and I hope it makes sense for you. Okay, so if we're at say, you know, 188, 187 or, or whatever, it's gonna be at 177, you know, and to get to, you know, like a, a 2,600 share price, you're looking at like a 14X from here or something like that, right? Um, moreover, if you look at, you know, Tesla's market cap at like 555 billion, you're looking at say, you know, like a seven, eight trillion dollar company, something like that, right? Uh, if, if you know, this whole robotaxi thing is and, and Kathy Wood's numbers are correct, I just want to just play along, right? So you're talking about like a, a massively, you know, uh, a valued company. Um, to give you some context, because I know a lot of people don't understand any of this stuff, and that's why I try to explain it to you as, as simply as possible. Uh, Apple at the moment is like $3 trillion. So you're saying that, okay, uh, at least according to Kathy Wood, uh, if, if Tesla you know, does this robot taxi stuff, it's going to be like two to three times the worth of Apple today. <laughs> and um, this is sort of what I mean by basic math, guys. Okay. So, for example, I'm just, let's just, let's just say okay elon's awesome you're going to get those robot taxi etc and you're just all going to be so awesome right uh as of today if you believe tesla is fairly valued as of today if you believe that um it is again at 555 billion in market cap and i was thinking about this to the easiest way to explain like how ludicrous the numbers are that kathy wood and arc give you let's say that the, the robot taxi thing is successful let's say they put Uber out of business completely, and they completely, you know, take over Uber's business and just like, you know, the RoboTaxi stuff is awesome. Uh, Uber as a company, right? Let's say you think that Uber is fairly valued. Uh, that would be $150 billion worth of, you know, company. So if you take the 150 billion and you add that to Tesla's 550 billion, right? In this range, you're only at 700 billion billion right you're, you're not even at a trillion let alone seven or eight trillion so i i'm like okay so we're, we're like and, and this is a simple example and i already know by by bringing in real numbers and math that i've already lost all the tesla fanboys and fangirls <laughs> because you know your math on on tesla you know being worth trillions of dollars is not based on any sort of sense of reality and, and i'm just giving you a very simple example guys let me give you another really simple example. Okay, so according to Kathy Wood and the team, they're like, oh yeah, Tesla's gonna make 14 million cars. They're gonna do awesome, you know? And that's what that's what was her projections are. I'm gonna show you down here a scroll and it's making random numbers up. They're saying on the bull scenario by 2029, 14.4 million cars. So in, in that scenario, uh, let's say Tesla then, you know, cause you have to take market share from somewhere. Um, let's say they, they bankrupt Toyota, right? Tesla bankrupts Toyota, Tesla bankrupts uh, Uber. And the value of Toyota today is like 276 billion, right? And I'm showing you, I'm showing you guys th these numbers so you can see it for yourself. At the moment, Tesla's roughly two times the value of Toyota, if that makes any sense. <laughs> this is how out of whack this stuff is. Um, and, and and if you don't understand, um, Toyota produces, I think, uh, like 10, 12 million cars a year. Tesla produces like 2 million cars a year, right? So Toyota does like five times more cars than Tesla, uh, yet Tesla somehow worth 
uh, twice as much. So let's let's just uh, let's just assume to, uh, Tesla bankrupts Toyota and bankrupts Uber. Uh, so then you got your five hundred and, and you know fifty market cap uh, plus your say we'll call it three hundred. Maybe do the math simply uh, from Toyota. So that puts you at eight hundred billion in market cap. And then you got your Uber, and uh, you could well, just be generous. You call the two hundred billion dollar company. And then and then because the uh, lift actually is worth 50 billion so you can add it together that's worth 200 million that gets you at a trillion for for tesla but like you're still nowhere near apple at three trillion you're still nowhere near kathy woods you know arc invest price of 2600 and and the whole thing is just is just crazy um and i understand guys if you don't think stocks have anything to do with fundamentals uh if you think it and fundamentals mean just you know numbers price to earnings or price to sales or price to cash flow whatever you want like this like reality <laughs> if stocks have nothing to do with reality which i i feel like that's kind of the world we live in to prove it frank if all it has to do with hey we've got a ceo who tells you that we're going to have these fantasy products that never come out uh and we're going to make all this money that never comes in if you keep telling the people that hey guys in five years we're going to make you a lot more money and, and that doesn't happen but hey guys in five years we're going to make a lot more money uh, like like if, if if that's all our market is and then sure um everyone you know go out and buy tesla and let's all tell our friends to buy tesla and we all buy tesla and, and that's just sort of what this feels like um it, it, the whole thing is strange to me to be really frank and i hope you understand my, my basic logic and, and thinking on on why the valuations are, are are crazy let alone these projections of robot taxis and i i give you some just a couple very simple logical examples Tesla bankrupts Toyota, Tesla bankrupts Uber, replaces them. You know, how much market cap, how much value would that, would that add? Um, regarding the whole Tesla thing and, and Elon Musk, uh, he's getting sued by uh, former engineers at SpaceX. Uh, it's like eight people, I think it's four women and four men are, are suing, saying they have a, a bad culture of harassment and firing people un, uh, unlawfully or illegally, I think is the word that, that they say. We'll see what happens with that. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, and this just, just came out just a few hours ago also, the reason why I'm bringing this up is, is that um, even if uh, Musk and the, and, the, and the team, you know, get this vote passed, there may be more lawsuits coming and, and we'll, we'll see because I think what's going to happen is they're going to give, you know, Elon his uh, pay package slash uh, options. He'll sell some stock to pay his tax. You're going to be diluted by 10%. Um, I guess the argument's going to be, way well, hey, I'm happy with diluting my shares 10% uh, as long as Elon produces, you know, value and does awesome things. And that goes back to, you know, talking about what would this a fair value of this company's worth. Uh, in my opinion, just looking at numbers, guys, um, you know, you could make the case and I showed you guys this numbers. You can find my other video on this, but I think I think Tesla was like a peg of three depending on which counting method you use, either gap or non-gap or peg of six. So that would suggest this is like six times or, or three times or six times overvalued. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> but again, if, if it doesn't matter how much company, how much money a company earns or, or how much you know revenue they generate, if it doesn't matter at all, if it all just matters as long as you like the CEO and you think he's sexy, then I guess yes, buy the stock. And, and guys, you know this is the, the, another example. Um, just just to keep, just to put in context, just so you have an understanding of like you know basic logic here. Say, hey, you know, I want to base my company uh, on how much money they earn. Um, a year, Toyota earns $43 billion. Uh, a year, Tesla earns uh, $8.92 billion. So uh, or Toyota earns like 400, or sorry, four times roughly, four times more, actually four and a half times more uh, than Tesla. Uh, yet Tesla's market cap is double that of Toyota. Make it make sense, guys. Um, so anyway, I, I just wanted to, to share some thoughts on this thing. Uh, I hope you understand my logic and, and why this whole thing is just living in bizarre world. But I do understand um, if you convince enough people to buy said stock and you like the stock, it can go up. And that's what we're seeing today. So uh, that's my thoughts. Let's see uh, what happens when this vote becomes, um, you know, the official. And, and uh, I'll, I'll update to you uh, after I think they're having some sort of a shareholder meeting today. And I'll update you with anything else and wild and crazy that they said. So thanks again for your time, everyone. And I'll catch you all in the next video.